practicing these names now for a couple mm -hmm. hours. So let's see how this next story goes. <laughs> Seven years ago this month, NASA's Osiris-Rex mission blasted off to an asteroid named Bennu. All right, its mission is to collect samples of the asteroid and return it to Earth. And after traveling for nearly 3.9 billion miles, Osiris-Rex is about to deliver its precious cargo. Yeah, that's the key. Say it fast, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here to talk about this incredible accomplishment is NASA planetary scientist Jada Arney. Good morning, Jada. Good morning. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for being with us. All right, before you talk about the mission, remind us what an asteroid is and why it's important that we study them. Yeah, well, asteroids are small, but they are mighty and they are large in number. They represent the primordial building blocks from the early formation of our solar system. And so by studying them, scientists are hoping to learn more about how planets of our solar system were put together, including our own Earth. Now let's talk about the OSRS-REx mission. Can you tell us about the epic journey to Bennu and back? Yes, OSIRIS-REx launched in September of 2016. It took about two years to journey to the asteroid Bennu and then spent an additional two years surveying and orbiting the asteroid to better understand its properties and find the best site to collect its precious sample from. And now this Sunday, that sample is finally returning home where scientists are really, really eager to finally get their hands on this precious cargo. All right, as you mentioned, so Sunday scientists will get the samples from the asteroid. What are these next few days going to be like? Well, it's going to be a really exciting time for the OSIRIS-REx team who has been waiting for years to get these sample, which is NASA's first ever sample from an asteroid. The sample is going to be dropped off into Earth's atmosphere this Sunday, September 24th in the morning. It's going to parachute for about 13 minutes through Earth's atmosphere. It's going to be landing in Utah's test and training range. Which is, this is in the desert outside of Salt Lake City, where helicopter teams are going to be tracking that sample as it descends, waiting to come immediately to pick it up once it touches down and take it to a clean room within the Utah test and training range. And their scientists are, you know, they're, they're super eager to get their hands on that sample. It's then going to be taken to NASA Johnson in Houston, Texas for cataloging. And then it'll be sent to sample, uh, then it'll be sent to scientists around the world. And give us an idea how challenging was a mission like this to gather a sample without actually landing on the asteroid. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty amazing feat. The One of the most surprising things about this asteroid was how rugged the surface was. Before this mission, scientists expected that the surface of this asteroid was pretty smooth. But instead, we discovered when we got close to it that it is really, really rough. You know, there are boulders there the size of houses. It, it's an extremely, you know, challenging terrain to navigate to try to find the best and safest site to collect the sample from without damaging the spacecraft. But luckily, Luckily, we were able to do that successfully, and now that sample is finally coming home. Hi, Jada. So this mission isn't, isn't done yet. What comes next for OSIRIS-REx? It's true. It's not done yet. So about 20 minutes after the sample is dropped off into Earth's atmosphere, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft is going to fire some thrusters, and it's going to go to a new asteroid, asteroid Apophis, which it's going to reach in 2029. All right, Jada Arney, NASA planetary scientist, thank you for joining us today. Thanks so much. Have a good weekend, Jada. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.